If you use GoodNotes a lot and you have lots of elements on the page, you might find it beneficial to um, convert a handwritten element into an image. And I'm going to show you two ways to do that. One is going to be in the Photos app and one is going to be in the Procreate app. But first I want to explain why you might want to do that. Let's say, for instance, you have um, some handwritten elements on top of another handwritten element. And then here I've already converted this right element into an image, and I'm going to show you why it, it might matter. I'm going to get the eraser tool, and if I erase through this left one that has not been converted, it's going to erase all, the, erase all the stuff underneath it. And this one on the right, I've already converted to an image. And if I erase on top of it, it stays uh, where it needs to be. So this is one reason why you might want to convert something to an image. And another reason might be because if you are selecting tons of elements on a page and you're using the lasso tool, there are a couple of different options where you can choose to lasso images and handwriting together or images alone or handwriting alone. So in doing that, let's just choose handwriting only and lasso all this. You can see that I'm only going to be moving the handwritten elements and the images stay in place and the opposite Let's just lasso all of this and it's only going to pull the image. So depending on how you use um, GoodNotes and lots of different layered elements on top of each other, this could help you out. So now let's go ahead and move into the two ways to convert an element, a GoodNotes element, into an image. And I'm going to show you two ways that does that and it preserves transparency. So you'll still be able to see through to the background. Now it is going to be a little bit different because a highlighter element is translucent within the app, but it also has a different type of feature where it dark it. Um, oh, how do I explain this? The highlighter element only darkens lighter things. I hope that makes sense. Um, so for instance, if it's on a white background, it's going to make it darker with that color. So it does, it acts a little bit differently, kind of like if, I don't know if you've ever used Photoshop, but it's like a, using a blending layer and the translucent image is going to, to act a little bit different than the highlighter. So it doesn't actually have any type of interactive properties. It's just going to be laid on top of whatever you put it on top of, or you could put it behind a different element. But just know that it does not act the same as a highlighter. It's not going to only darken lighter areas behind it. It's also going to lighten darker areas, if that makes sense. All right, so let me get rid of all this stuff. And you can choose to, uh, you can also use text box elements and, and um, this works as well to convert it into an image. But typically I'm not going to want to save the text with my element because I'm going to want to use a different text. Um, so let's first do it in the native iPad Photos app. And I'm going to make sure handwriting is selected. I'm going to lasso all of my elements. And I'm going to drag it over into the Photos app. And then to import it, I'm going to tap the uh, Photos tool in the GoodNotes app. And I'm going to show you why. This kind of tripped me up here um, in the beginning until I figured this out, but there's some kind of bug going on. If you pull it in from the Photos app itself from the slide over window, it does not keep the transparency. I don't know why. I can't explain why that happens, but if you'll notice, you cannot see through that image to whatever's behind it. And we want to keep the transparency. So I'm going to get rid of this one 
And instead, I'm going to tap on the Photos tool in the GoodNotes app and bring it in from the most recent one I just did. And there we've kept the transparency. So that's how you convert a GoodNotes element into an image in the Native Photos app. And you can see the difference here, as I explained before. You see how the highlighter here on the left, you can see through it, but it acts differently than the image here on the right. So you do need to keep that in mind. Okay, next let's do it in the Procreate, Procreate app. Now the Procreate app is a design and graphic app and it is a paid app, so it's not free, but the Procreate app can actually do a whole lot more than the Photos app can. So you may already have this app. Um, I do, I love using it for a lot of different other things and I'll make you guys some videos to show you what I do in that app. But I actually prefer to use the Procreate app to convert my elements into images. So we're gonna use the same technique. We're going to lasso it. We're going to pull it into Procreate and drop it. And then I'm going to open this up in a larger window, and I'm going to choose my artwork, open the layers, turn off the background so that I can have a translucent image, go back to the gallery, and then pull it right back in onto the page. And that's it. That's how you do it in Procreate. So I hope you guys found this useful. Enjoy. Hello everyone, I'm Brooke, and I make digital planners and notebooks. You can find my online shop at brookbot.com. If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a big ol' thumbs up by tapping that like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that I can bring you more videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.